logically correct. My question is, uh, why create the sick and then create a hospital? <laughs> no, it's not a laughing matter because the sick are already there. That's true. The sick are already there. For them a hospital is very relevant, no question about that. But is it not important that you create the necessary atmosphere and the infrastructure to see that there will be no sick in the future generation? If not no sick, at least less sick. No sick is the dream, at least less sick is definitely a possibility. If you build or invest too much in too many hospitals, you'll pray that everybody is sick. <laughs> because you put in so much money and so much effort into that. If we build too much medical infrastructure, we will be sitting and waiting when will people fall sick? If you are an undertaker, <laughs> what is your hope? Every day let at least one person die, isn't it? In your area, definitely you are not planning to go out of business. Definitely you are not. Does it mean to say we should not have an undertaker's business? No, we need it because people do die. But uh, if we invest too much in building a very swank undertaker's office, we have taken big loans in the bank to set up an undertaker's business. My prayer for tomorrow is, which one of you? If we have set up a simple business, it's okay. Let people live. When they die, we'll serve. We'll do something. <laughs> Similarly, for the sick, it should be. When people fall sick, we must have something to back it up and take care of those people. But if you build enormous infrastructure which to cater to the sick, then after some time, if there are no sick, you will not like it. You will wish for it. Somebody was arguing with me some time ago, a very religious person. The only way to go to heaven is we must serve the suffering people. Then I said, uh, if my dream comes true, then you for sure you will not go to heaven. Because my dream is that there are no suffering people and there is no need to serve. Right now there are suffering people unfortunately so we have to do something. That's different. But if you set up like this, that only if you serve the suffering people I will go to heaven, you are always wishing that everybody is suffering so that you have more and more opportunity to step on their heads and go to heaven. First of all, you are so eager to go to heaven because you yourself must be a suffering human being. <laughs> if you are an ecstatic human being, you wouldn't be thinking of going to heaven. You such a thing is there and if you end up there, it's okay. If such a place exists and you happen to end up there, it's okay. If you end up in the other place also, it's okay. Because you are anyway, not a suffering human being. So this struggle that wherever you go, always that which people logically understand as useful is always held as the highest. 
is a huge baggage that humanity is carrying, which will not allow them to flower into their consciousness, which ultimately is the only solution for human well-being. That solution will not come our way if we keep on idealizing things that we do to patch up life. Somebody is sick, we attend to him, it's just a patch up job. He should not be sick, that's the idea, isn't it? If nobody is sick, then no patching up needed. If there are no disasters, there's no need for service, isn't it? Always people get caught up in the problems that exist right now. I'm not saying we can ignore the problems. I'm not saying close your eyes and wish them away, they will not go away. But if you get attached to a problem, you are the problem because you will not let the problems go. Because your salvation depends upon the problem, your satisfaction depends upon the problem, your pleasure depends upon the problem. No, 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 I'm only trying to find the solution, I understand that but somewhere you are deriving too much pleasure in finding solutions. You start enjoying the problem. Once you start enjoying the problem, you are constantly wishing there must be problem in the world, otherwise where will you go? What is needed is not small, small solutions for every problem. Yes, when somebody is in trouble, when somebody is moved into a corner, pulling him out becomes an important part of the work, a relevant part of the work, but that's not the real thing to do. If every human being can light up within himself, if every human being becomes a solution by himself, that he doesn't create any problems either for himself or anybody around him, then we don't have to go about solving problems.